Welcome to the third Peace and Conflict tutorial. In this one we will be looking at the causes of conflict, a case study, the Christian responses to conflict, the teachings of Jesus on conflict and situation ethics. Can you remember any causes of conflict? I can think of seven. One cause is self-defense. Another is long-standing racial hatred. Another is religion. Another is national pride. Also, fear. Another is over-environmental or natural resources. And, finally, economics. A case study is the Darfur conflict in Sudan. The cause is Athletwa, firstly, the ethnic hatred between the Arabs, with the Janjaweed, and the non-Arabs, with the Sudanese Liberation Army. The government supported the Arabs. It was made worse by a drought, which meant the nomadic Arabs moved on to the land of the non-Arabs. The Janjaweed, supported by the government, burnt down their villages and stole their food. Poor communications links meant nobody, like the United Nations, heard about the conflict until it was too late. Peacekeeping forces were sent in to help but not enough to make a real difference. One Christian response is pacifism. They believe all conflict can be resolved without violence and they follow the teachings of Jesus on reconciliation. The Quakers are an example of Christians who think like this. Another response is just war. Christians believe a war is just if the intention behind it is good. Also, if all other ways of resolving the conflict have been tried and if there is a reasonable chance of success. Roman Catholics agree with this. Finally, whether a Christian is a pacifist or believes in just war, all Christians recognize that often the cause is something which needs to be fixed first. For example, injustice can lead to conflict, so equality must exist before it can be solved. Situation ethics is an ethical theory based on the teaching of Jesus. It says decisions should be based on what is the most loving thing to do, so every situation should be judged individually. For example, going to war to remove an evil dictator. Some Christians disagree, because what is the most loving thing is subjective. It's impossible to know how the situation will turn out and whether it actually is the most loving thing. Also, how can murder ever be the most loving thing to do? Many non-religious people say that religion is the cause of war. For example, the Christian Crusades during medieval times and the conflict between Protestants and Catholics in Northern Ireland. Humanists say that if religion was abolished there would be less conflict and fewer wars. Christians say that what often seems to be a religious conflict is actually about culture. They claim all religions call for peace and that Christianity teaches people to love their enemies. Some people misinterpret religious teaching. Questions you might be asked on this topic are to outline three causes of war or to explain why a non-religious person could argue that religion causes war. Thank you for listening. See you next time for the tutorial on pacifism.